Hello folks, my name's Mark, welcome to my channel. And today I'd like to make a cargo trailer video. Uh, today is uh, one of the first days of May, 2024, a beautiful spring day here, approximately 20 miles west of Nephi, Utah. We're out here camping and rock hounding me and my little dog in my cargo trailer. Now, last year I was out here and I made a cargo trailer walkthrough video and it's the most popular video on my channel. Uh, I expect that 40 to 50% of the subscribers to this channel are here because of cargo trailer content, which I have quite a bit of. So let's continue with that and hopefully this will be a nice video. Got a little table out here, chair. I've got lots of buckets and water that I, I bring things and do things, but this is a cargo trailer video. So, you know, the last video is quite long and uh, covers just about everything, uh, but there's new stuff. This is 2024 and uh, I've changed a few things out and I didn't show a few things uh, last time. So let's just talk about them. My potty, a bucket and an old toilet seat lid. You throw a bag in there and you're golden. Now I try to, I try to separate the urine as best I can and it's not the easiest thing and there's definitely room to upgrade the potty. But it works and that's what I use. Or I just, you know, if I'm out hiking around, I'll, I, I can dig a hole. I have two solar panels going on nowadays because I have a larger power station and uh, I need the solar. We've been using a lot of electricity in the cargo trailer. These are 100 watt panels, uh, fixed rigid panels. They're set up in, in uh, series. So I'm usually pulling about 150, 160 watts. Uh, when I have them set up like this. Over here, something that is new is the propane. Uh, previously, I had been using a uh, gasoline powered Coleman stove and I switched over to propane. So I, I got a little propane tank there and a hose which goes inside the trailer and uh, powers up the propane hose. So let's go inside and have a look at that. I really like this propane stove. Uh, I just started using it on this trip and it's been very nice. No complaints whatsoever. So the uh, propane comes in down here, travels up and through a hole and then to the stove. And it's it's a you know it's a little bit of work to to worry about the uh the the hose. You kind of have to manipulate it a little bit, but it's not a big deal. It's been very nice. I like that stove. One of the things that I've added since my last walkthrough is this carpet. Uh, it's just a, a wool carpet that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks and put it in. And it has been a huge quality of life uh, increase in comfort and a little bit of insulation value, but mostly comfort. Uh, it's really nice to just have a nice carpeted floor and get away from the cold plywood that used to just be there. Of course, I have my fold-up bed, ice chest underneath, and a power station tucked away in the corner back there. That's where I keep it. And I'll, I'll fold up the bed here shortly and uh, show you what I've done because that's new and uh, kind of a big deal.
All right, the, the bed folding up works best if you take off all of the sheets or uh, covers and pillows. And then I just have some little scraps of rope that hook on. And then you can fold up these legs. All right, with the bed raised, you can see it's I keep my eyes chest right there. And there's some cables. Gypsy is outside. She's abandoning her heated bed for a minute. Um, so we got the solar panel cables coming in through the pass-through. And some various power cables attached to the wall. And here is the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. Uh, pretty much new. I've had it for, I don't know, two and a half weeks or something. Now, I've mounted it back here it, ouch, in the trailer. And one of the things that I had to do in order to mount it, uh, you know, I don't want it to move it around at all. So these tie downs, they were underneath the carpet. So I actually pulled up the carpet in the corner there and uh, uninstalled the tie downs and then cut the carpet and reinstalled the tie downs. And there's two of them, right? I didn't do the ones in the front. There's two of them in the front of the trailer because uh, I don't really need them. If I ever need them, I'll uncover them and reinstall them like this. So anyway, and then over here, I, I had this, uh, I, don't, I don't know, some kind of a handle that I pulled off of something. And uh, I attached that to the plywood floor to give me another tie down. And now, so that the, it's tied to the floor, right? And then it's also tied to the wall. I had these uh, tie downs that I installed right there and just roped it off so that it, it can't move around. There's some little pieces of foam back here from uh, scraps from my bed. And uh, that keeps it from banging up against the wall, right? You're like you can't, can't bang it up again. And I've got this uh, foam padding from Harbor Freight. It's a kneeling pad just to soften the vibrations uh, during travel. And so we have our solar cables coming in to this XT60, XT90. I don't know what it is. I forget. And uh, then our solar input is right there. And we're currently getting 163 watts from my two solar panels. We're sitting at 78%. All right. Now I have the AC current turned on. Uh, powering Gypsy's heated bed and a light bulb. Um, so the AC is on and that comes out through here, right? And then I also have the beginnings of a DC system. And, and I, uh, I created this cable. Uh, I bought the connector and some uh, wires and had to solder it together. And I created this cable that comes around and terminates at this junction box or fuse box. I don't really know what it should be called. I guess a fuse box because it has fuses in it. And I only have one circuit right now. I'm going to get some more circuits. This is a six circuit uh, fuse box. Blue C systems, very, very common and popular uh, unit. But anyway, 
I have a 10 amp circuit right here and that goes, the, it's the yellow cord, right? And it comes all the way up here to this switch and then up and it powers uh, this. I can charge up this little blue Eddy, the AC50S. I'm gonna call that little blue and this is big blue, right? So that's in the future, it's, I'm gonna call it big blue and little blue. All right, so if I want to charge up little blue, I come over here and I hit the DC on, right? And that powers up our circuit breaker box. And then I can come over here and turn on this switch, which will supply power to little blue. So now I'm getting 111 watts from big blue to little blue. And all of that is new. All of, all of that DC wiring is new. Um, it's not a big deal, but but it's new. It, it wasn't there last year. And so I intend to uh, expand on the circuits. I would like some, some DC lights. And I definitely want to get a... Uh, compressor fridge, a little chest style compressor fridge and get rid of the, the Coleman ice chest there. Um, but we'll do things slowly. Uh, buying the, buying big blue was a, uh, kind of a major purchase. And, uh, so I have to wait to, uh, to make any additional upgrades. But, so I want some, some some lights that are wired uh, underneath here to illuminate these spaces. And uh, instead of having an AC powered light, I can run some DC powered lights up to the ceiling. Um, not a lot, but some. What else is new? These light bulbs are new. Um, they're just USB powered. They come in right here. They have a little switch. I can turn them off and on and dim them and time, put a timer on there. They're pretty nice. I have two of them connected here. And there's the switch for the other one. And uh, and those, those work really nice. I like them. Uh, I got yellow lights. I actually prefer the uh, daylight spectrum, but the warm yellow is kind of nice. It, I'm getting used to it. Um, of course, I have my Max fan. It's been kind of a chilly morning, so I've kept things kind of buttoned up. But it can be powered from this converter box. I can plug this converter box into the AC and power up the Max fan with it or I can plug in the max fan right here, which is generally what I do. Uh, that is for shore power. When I'm at home and I just want to plug in the trailer, I plug in shore power to the trailer and uh, then I plug in this thing and that gives me some 12 volt out here without having to use big blue or little blue. Right, and so the front of the trailer is, is pretty much all storage. Uh, up there is charging and over here are all of my stuff that I need to have a YouTube channel and then oh let's turn that oop let's just turn that off for a minute um, down here on this uh, level is all cooking stuff and uh, utensils and whatnot and then down here we have storage food items and my book and stuff like that different uh, this is various photography stuff and uh, my plate and some stuff and down here we've got some dog food and dog water and uh, a crate for storage and I have this this is new um, it's just a large I think it's a animal feed but what I do is I bring that up here just move this camera I 
bring it up here. I guess I didn't really prepare very well. But it sits right here, and I use that for dishes. So I'll, I'll get some soapy water. I'll put the soapy water in here, and then I can just do my dishes, and I can rinse them. Um, I don't have to go outside to do dishes. Um, you know, if it's cold outside, you don't want to do dishes outside. I want to, I want to cook inside. I want to do dishes inside. So I got that tub to, so I could do dishes. Gypsy's heated bed. So there's a hot pad under here and it's, uh, it's set on medium right now. I just keep it on. Uh, she's 14 years old and she's, uh, you know, she's getting up there and I want her to be comfortable. So I always have her heated bed going. Um, you know, I guess I could probably turn it on low because she's outside. Um, but she'll be back in soon enough. And uh, having the heated bed at nighttime just gives me the peace of mind to know that she's not uncomfortable. Uh, I don't want my little dog to be uncomfortable. So Big Blue uh, is uh, providing the power all night long. Uh, to the heated bed, and of course, I have, I have myself a, a heated blanket. I don't know why that's doing that. So I, I put some hooks on this back of the wall, my ramp door, and I made these bungee straps to hold my table and my solar panels. Uh, table goes on this side and the solar panels go on this side and I'll include a, a little segment that shows them mounted up there but I've got some uh, some foam pipe insulation that I kind of wrap around the frames of the solar panels so that they're cushioned and hopefully don't break and of course I have my hanging bar up here a dish towel drying out uh, some various battery powered lights up there uh, which are nice but uh, you know I want to get some wired DC lights in here as well but these have been working great I really like them you know if that's all you can use is just some battery operated uh, magnetic lights you know, these work really good. They work really good. And these work really good too. So uh, other things that are new, I took the time to mount my organizers to the wall so that they're not moving around. Uh, this paper towel holder used to be underneath there. And I just needed more counter space. So I moved that out onto the wall and I was able to get uh, more items into the counter space. You know, I lost a little bit of counter space with this hose deal. But, so I, I've got bungees holding um, my cutting board and this pot and the coffee maker, the coffee pot, all go right there and they have bungees that hold them in place. And I wanna do something with this stove and bungee it in place too, but I haven't done that yet. But I think that's about all that's really new in the cargo trailer. Of course, I've got my screen doors, same screen doors as before, uh, pretty much. Clear. Oh, here's something that's new. Uh, my illuminated battery operated clock. Um, it's nice at nighttime to just be able to open your eyes and see what time it is the illuminated part and not have to manipulate uh, your phone or something to try to figure out what time it is I mean this this has the time on there but it's not illuminated so it, it when it's dark it's just nice to be able to open up your eyes and see what time it is all right well we've got some windows they've always been there they're very nice um, and again, I, it, almost everything that I've showed you here has its own separate videos. Um, you know, you're welcome to 
look through my channel it has a ton of cargo trailer videos and uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one